Hello, I'm Liz Van Vliet and welcome to the Assist with Impact podcast. Join me as I explore the competencies and capabilities that allow you to assist with impact. I'll be sharing practical tips, strategies and insights that will help you move beyond what I call the order taker zone and be that little hinge that can swing big doors. If you're ready to be more proactive and have more impact in your role, then this is the place for you. Let's get started with the episode. Well, hello, my lovely listeners. Ah, here I am. Yes, it is currently, as I record this, Monday the 23rd of October. And what can I say? The last month has just been a blur in so many ways. So I apologize profusely for going on a little bit of a mini hiatus from the old uh, Assist with Impact podcast. I hope you can forgive me. This is episode 186 and I feel like there's just, I've been everywhere, man. I've been everywhere. But yes, I did take a little bit of a break because something had to give and I've had so much going on that unfortunately my podcast schedule has been thrown into a bit of chaos, which means that my promised interview that I was going to be released is still in the production stages, which is my fault because I need to record an intro for the episode. Uh, But I thought this week, I'm just going to record a little solo episode to bring you all up to speed with where Liz is at in the world. So I want to start by welcoming Any new listeners to the podcast that may have come on board as a result of the, you know, fairly active speaking and training that I have been involved in. That would be an understatement because, man, I have not stopped. But that's all good because it means that people like you, my lovely listener, are getting to have the experience of getting a little bit of vitamin Liz in your world. If you've been one of those people that has been in one of my classes, my training programs, and that may have been, wow, well, we could be going back to my wonderful listeners all the way over in Canada Hello, Bank of Canada, lovely listeners that are out there that have joined the pod party, the pod bandwagon, the Assist with Impact bandwagon. I'm sending you a big hello. Yes, everyone, I had told you that I was in Ottawa um, in late September delivering training to the executive assistant cohort at the Bank of Canada, and they did not disappoint What a wonderful group. So sending you all big hellos. Love to know how your clippy koalas are going. And for those of you that don't know what a clippy koala is, when I went over to Canada, it was my great privilege to do that training. And so I took some little presents along with me, including these little koalas that you buy that I bought here and took with me in my luggage. And they're called, I call them clippy koalas because they're, they've got little clippy paws, little clippy hands and feet so that you can attach them to your pen or to a lanyard or maybe to your computer monitor. Anyway, I had a lot of fun giving them out and even was able to give people more than one so that they could take one home for maybe their, you know, somebody in their family or even for people that wanted to give one to their exec. But that was good fun. I also took over a little individual one serving packets of Vegemite and there was some very brave people in the room that dove straight into it and actually gave it the taste test which I thought was very brave. So dying to know 
if you're listening to this and you were in that training, did you give your Vegemite a whirl? My advice was to go big on the butter, put it on a piece of toast or a muffin or something, but go big on the butter and just very lightly with the mayonnaise, like don't overdo it. Otherwise you might find you, you're just like, oh my God, what is this thing that she gave me? Anyway, For those of you that might still have it sitting around, my other hot tip is to use it like a stock cube. So if you're making, say, spag bowl or some sort of um, thing that has like a beefy undertone, it works really well just to give a little bit of extra zip to your um, spaghetti bolognese or a, a beef ragu or something that you're cooking. So there you go. Not only do you come to me for assistant tips and practical and tactical ways to elevate your effectiveness and assist with impact, but you get the old cooking tip. So there you go. That's one way you can use Vegemite. Now, I also wanted to share with you something very amusing that I did as part of my training with the Bank of Canada. So I always survey Any audience that I'm going into where I have the opportunity to ask them to complete a survey, I always do that so that I can get an idea of what it, you know, when it comes to your role as an assistant, what is your biggest challenge? What is your biggest desire? And when it comes to that desire, what is getting in the way of you achieving that desire? Then I always ask a question about which of the 10 power skills you struggle with the most. So I get a flavor for that. And for the Canadian uh, attendees from Bank of Canada, I threw in another question. And let me tell you what it was, because I think you'll get a giggle out of it. So the question was, what Australian animal is your EA, executive assistant, spirit animal? And I said, Note, this is not a manifesto of you as an assistant. It's just for fun. So option A was koala. Looks cuddly, but has claws that will scratch your eyes out. Option B was kangaroo. Seems maternal, that lovely pouch. But if you get on the wrong side, I have a mean kick. Then number uh, C, option C was wombat. Slow moving, but if you run into me, your history. Option D was something called a qual, which a lot of you will be like, Liz, I've never even heard of that Australian animal. So the qual is a tiny little marsupial. And I said my tagline for the qual was, I'm the scarlet pimpernel of Australian animals, elusive. You won't even know I've been there, but I will leave my impact. And finally, option E was the great white shark. I take no prisoners. Well, let me tell you, the results were very amusing. Of course, we had a scattering of everything, including one very brave person that said that they are the great white. But the winner was the little quoll. So it's spelt Q-U-O-L-L. So Google that, people, and enjoy seeing a very cute little Australian marsupial that you've probably never heard of before. It's the Scarlet Pimpernel of Australian animals, elusive. And if you're an EA that channels the quoll, you're there, but you won't, and you leave your impact, but you are a light touch. So that was a bit of fun. Now, I want to give a shout out to my friend, Philip, who was so excited about me coming to Ottawa because we've only connected online and we've had a coaching session together, but, you know, and we see each other on Instagram, but we've never actually met in in person. And believe, can you believe this? We set up time to meet in person in Ottawa. And guess what I did? I stood poor Philip up. Philip, I still feel terrible. I feel so terrible. Philip took time out of his schedule to meet me at a cafe near his work. And I was jet lagged, still struggling with jet lag. I'd put it in my calendar for the wrong day. So 
in the time that poor Philip was sitting there waiting for me to arrive for our coffee catch up. Guess where I was? I was on a, you know, a jump off, jump on bus touring around Ottawa, nowhere near where poor Philip was sitting waiting for me. I felt absolutely terrible. And unfortunately, even though we organised to meet the following day, Philip had something come up at work, which happens to EAs, and we weren't actually able to meet in real life. So Philip, my lovely Canadian friend, I'm so sorry. And I fall on my sword, my literal and virtual sword, again in this podcast to say how sorry I am. I also want to give a shout out to one of my American listeners who I think I've mentioned before, but I'm going to mention you again, the lovely Rachel Guffey Moore, who is down south in the US. Well, I think you're in Nashville, aren't you, Rachel? Um, I don't know if that's classified as south. I might be getting my terminology wrong. But Again, we thought, oh, well, given I'll be roughly in a somewhat friendlier time zone, we might be able to organise to have a Zoom hookup, catch up, not a hookup, a catch up, and did not manage to get it done. Because one week was not a great deal of time for me to get over my jet lag, do everything that I needed to do. I literally wore out the printers at Staples near where I was staying in Ottawa doing all my printing. I seriously think the security guard thought that I was some sort of like um, stalker, uh, you know, like thief that was coming in every day for about three days straight before my training was scheduled doing printing every day. It was so funny. I ended up literally making the biggest eye contact and giving him the biggest smile and showing him my bundle of printing. Anyway, very funny. So I had a great time in Ottawa. Now, what else is going on? Well, the travel continues. I am also going to give a shout out to all of my new listeners who have joined the pod family from my training that I've been conducting in partnership with Event Edge around Australia as of today. And I'm off to New Zealand tomorrow to do Auckland and Wellington. And I have had the great privilege of meeting around 50 assistants and other office managers, couple of office managers thrown in, in Sydney, Melbourne, Brisbane and Perth and loved meeting you guys. So if you're listening to the pod, welcome. It's great to have you here. Thank you so much for your wonderful uh, participation and can't wait to see you again sometime in the future. Uh, I'm also looking forward to, so I'm going to New Zealand this week And then I've got some client work coming up, uh, doing an in-person workshop for the assistant cohort at DEXAS here in Sydney. And I'm speaking at Executive Support Live, the Lucy Brazier event, extravaganza, uh, which is being held here in Sydney on the 9th of 10th and 10th of November, before I then jump on a plane, well, to the US and then back to Australia. Well, no, I'm going to Perth and then I'm going to the US. Seriously, I am getting, racking up the frequent flyer points this year, people. It is just all happening. Now, I want to tell you something that I'm reading that I want to pass on to you, a piece, a wonderful book that I shared, I've been sharing in my Vintage training and I want to share it in the pod. It's called How to Be a Productivity Ninja. It's by a guy called Graham Alcott. So I'll put a link to it in the show notes. Now, I am loving this book. I'm loving the methodologies that Graham speaks about in the book, particularly one he calls the CORD method, which is an acronym that stands for Capture and Collect, Organize, Review and Do. And it is his sort of foundational methodology, productivity methodology. And I I bloody love it, people. I bloody love it. So I want to encourage you, if you haven't heard of Graham, jump on and have a look at the book, 
find somewhere where Graham is interviewed. I, heads up, spoiler alert, I'm going to try to get him on the podcast because I want to interview the man. He's English. Um, so if any of you know him, point him my way. Otherwise, I'm going to be uh, sliding into his DMs to get him on the podcast, but it probably won't be until 2024 because I am jam, jam, strawberry jam, raspberry jam, marmalade, every variety of jam packed for the rest of 2023. So that is all I wanted to share with you. I want to just invite any of you that are new to the podcast and may not have done it to be kind and show me some pod love and leave a rating and review because it helps other people find my little podcast that has been going for over seven years. But it has been wonderful to get on the mic and record this little solo extravaganza sharing, you know, what I've been doing who I've been doing it with and the sorts of things that are inspiring me at the moment. And if you're interested, you know, feel free to slide into my DMs or send me an email at liz at thelinchpinassistant.com and tell me which Australian animal you relate to as an EA. I will put all of those options in the show notes for you to have some fun with. So, Thanks for listening and I promise the next episode will be in two weeks. Two weeks, people. I commit here and now. Thanks for listening. Thanks for listening to today's show. I hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to see the show notes, head over to my website, It would be great if you haven't already done so. If you enjoyed the show, if you could kindly go to iTunes and leave a review. It helps other people find the show. Thanks for listening and have a great week.